Welcome to FixItForgetIt.com Where projects and ideas come together Hi, this is John from FixItForgetIt.com This door comes out into our garage and my wife wanted me to add a step here for her and she saw this simple, easy, inexpensive method of making a step online told me about it so I made this up for her it's a little bit narrow, she'd like me to widen it just a bit. And since I had to do that, I thought I would show you how I put this together. It's real easy. Let's uh, have a look at that. This, I'm setting at 40 inches. You may want to make your stair a different size than this, but this is just what I wound up with. Before you cut your post, make sure you inspect it and remove any tags or staples that are in there. You don't want your saw hitting something like that. I just took some old foam shims that I had. It's just uh, some padding that was in a box or something. Stuck those little rectangles under there to brace this post up so that as I cut this, when I get down near the bottom of the cut, I don't want that dropping off and splintering those little shims under there will prevent that from happening. So let's cut this now and it will keep going. This one, as I was in the process of making it, my wife came out and checked by putting one additional section on the step, and she still didn't think that was quite wide enough, so I'm going to be putting two on there, and uh, that'll make it nice and wide. Uh, you can see what I had left over there, just a small piece. If you can just use a little sanding block, you just want to come in. and knock the edge off of this a bit. That's just 150 grit. Then I'll just pull on those corners a bit. I'll go all the way around on both ends like that. And then I'll do the same to my second addition that I'll be putting on. And then I'll show you how I connect these. When I originally made this step with the three rungs, I used this little metal strap and some stainless steel screws to fasten it together. I put construction adhesive in between these to help hold it together. When I thought this one was only going to have one more section on there, I got this little metal strap to fasten it. And when my wife decided she would like to have one more section added, I'm going to have to go get a little longer strap so I got these at Home Depot and the little post over there as well. So when I get that extra piece of strap metal, we'll finish this up. I'm going to glue these posts together with liquid nails. This is interior, exterior, extreme heavy duty. Just a little tip for you. If you have any old eyedroppers, you may have some vitamins or some seasonings or something that have eyedroppers. Before you pitch that eyedropper, you may want to retrieve the bulb off of it or the little squeeze bulb up at the end of the eyedropper. Save those. You can use those to put over the tip of your caulking tubes. Helps keep them fresh. So you may have to rotate these posts because these things, since it's treated wood, they're pretty well known for warping. So I had to rotate these end for end and side to side to 
get the best fit here. But we're just going to take these and lay them over and put a little bit of this liquid nails on here just to help keep these secure. And you want to sort of zigzag your bead like that instead of just going straight. You'll get a little better adhesion that way. Makes a stronger bond. This one. Let's keep her going. Yeah, we're almost done. Flip it over, slide it up, make sure the ends of your post line up here. Then I'm going to put these clamps on there and we will snug those down. And you want to let that sit for I'm maybe a couple of days. Just make sure it really sets up good. And then I'll put my new metal strip along the edge there to help reinforce it. I have the clamps on there now. I have a little bit of a stair step, just real small right in there. Kind of starts about halfway back. So I'll either just take this and force this to the back of the location this is going to be installed in, or I may sand or plane that down a little bit. I'll just see how it goes. And uh, we're almost done with this. All I have to do now after this dries for a couple of days is put the little metal reinforcement strips on the side. As you recall, that little metal strip right there. This one will come off. I'll put a longer one on and this project will be finished. I'm putting these metal straps across the end of this stair just to sort of tie it together and reinforce it a bit. You want to make sure that you don't drop this thing or that you don't let it fall real hard or it could just snap apart. This isn't uh, real sturdy from tossing and shoving it around, but if you're just going to put it in place and leave it there, which is what I'm going to do, it's really durable and it'll be fine. I had this little 12 inch strap on these first three uh, pieces of this stair, first three sections, and I took that off, put this longer strap on there. I was hoping to get about a 16 inch strap, would have been great. All they had was an 18 inch strap. Uh, I got this also at Home Depot. So I used some number eight half inch screws, stainless steel, screwed that all in there. And it was just a, a wee bit long. So I just took a hammer and tapped the nose of that strap over right out here on the end. So I'm going to get these clamps off of here, finish up the other side, get the strap on, move it back into place, and this project will be finished. This step is finished. I used to be a carpet manufacturer's rep, so I had some carpet samples around. I just put one on there. Makes it nice and cozy. Seemed to work out pretty well. Uh, this isn't an idea that I came up with. 
Uh, as I said before, my wife saw this somewhere and mentioned it to me. I didn't even look at whatever video or instructions they had because, you know, it's not rocket science. It's just putting these uh, together. You may want to check around. Someone else may have a more elegant way of putting this together than I did. I just thought, hey, I'll just glue them together and throw some straps on the end, and that worked out well for me. So I used a 12-foot and an 8-foot 4x4 post to come up with these five sections that I glued together, and they are just under 40 inches each. So this is John from fixitforgetit.com. Appreciate you coming along on this project. And I will have some affiliate links in the description. And we will see you on the next video.